Hello, we are continue on our videos about uh, hydrological modeling. So if you remember in the previous video, we downloaded a uh, uh, digital elevation model from uh, SRTM and uh, if you remember we downloaded six uh, files but uh, later we found that we need another one uh, another uh, tile so we downloaded this one uh, uh, N36E045 so in order to use these files we have to we have to open ArcMap ArcMap 10.2 uh, as you know ArcMap 10.2 is belong to the ArcGIS which is a series of program so <clears throat> as you know ArcGIS it's a big program so I think it needs a little bit time uh, in order to open the program so we are waiting So as you know, this is as you see, this is the interface of the program. This is menu bar, and this is archive bar toolbar. <coughs> and this is geochemist toolbar, and this is table of contents, which is content of layers, and this is arc toolbox. This is the most important toolbox. Uh, of ArcGIS uh, or ArcMap is located here. So first of all, uh, we have to upload the data. So we are going to you to the file. So the seven tiles we uploaded to the layers. And as you see, this is seven layers that we downloaded in the previous video. So first of all, we have to create one mosaic out of the seven, uh, seven uh, tiles, uh, digital elevation models. So we are going to the digital uh, uh, arc toolbox and then data management tools and then raster. And in the raster, in the raster data set, we click on uh, mosaic new raster and here we select this files and we select the output location we select this file that we created inside the file that we created on desktop we select this file uh, to be the location of the output raster and we name the raster we name the Erbil mosaic sorry mosaic with the extension of teeth and the spatial reference for this output raster is the same as the input okay uh, and about the cell size and the pixel type we have to look at the properties of the input layers or input uh, files sorry as you see here uh, this is the cell size and we copy it Control c or copy and then uh, if you look at this is the pixel type is 16 yeah, sorry uh, sign it integer and this is pixel depth is 16 bit so we copy the cell size here and we select the 16 bit sign it and then one band number of bands is one band and this is two things is optional so it's not important so we execute the procedure executing to finish soon okay now it's ready we have to upload in the file and this is herbal mosaic uh, as you see this is herbal mosaic and this is uh, our selected seven so we deselect seven files and now we are going to create a digital elevation model according to the Erbil boundary so we select this is Erbil shape file so this is 
Herbal shape file. So now we are going to use the DG uh, raster extraction in the special analyze tool extraction and we extract the digital elevation model of Erbil by using a mask. So the input raster is Erbil mosaic and the input raster or the feature mask is Erbil province and uh, the output location it will be here in the Erbil case study so we say name it Erbil dim dot tiff with the extension of tiff so save and ok and it's running so we have to wait a little bit it's completed so we have to upload it again so shape files not in shape files in sorry in Arabic case study so herbal dim upload so we deselect the herbal preference and we deselect herbal mosaic and this is herbal dim so now we are starting on the uh, hydrological processing so first of all we have to build walls so before it we have to save uh, the file and we will save it here in this top SRTM herbal case study so we name the sample sample today's date 30 08 2019 save okay it's saved now we will start our process build walls so we will use air building and that's all yeah okay that's all okay and we are waiting up to the executed file will be ready okay it's it's completed so now we are going to layers welding add now we are continue fill sinks are building so fill sinks will fill all sinks in the digital elevation model so okay So now it's ready, fill sinks, fill file, we'll add it, we'll deselect, so now it's ready, so we execute flow direction, Okay, so we flow direction. You see, this is the flow direction. Now we are continuing the process flow accumulation. And we will wait. It still is processing.
it's a little bit so it's completed now so we have to again upload the flow accumulation so this is the flow accumulation and uh, we are going to stream definition it's based on the flow accumulation it's running it will finish soon completed and uh, we will add again flow stream definition we'll add so if you see this is stream definition and uh, stream segmentation is another process it's based on that stream definition and the flow direction it's also it's labeling okay let's finish it and we also we will add this layer okay so it's ready and uh, uh, catchment grid delineation so it's another procedure that's it's based on the flow direction and the uh, stream link okay it's it's finishing so we have to again upload the catchment so as you see this is the catchment catchment area and now we are going to to make the polygon process for catchments so catchment polygon process so use the this file So uh, in order to see the layer, so we have to upload again the because we have already here so we again attachment polygon processing so sorry we have uh, this process we have to upload this file sorry here and and uh, if you see layers this is the catchment and this is the catchment okay another file a uh, procedure that should be done is the drainage line processing which is based on the stringing and flow direction okay so now we are with drainage line this is the drainage lines and the next last step here a joint catchment processing also okay okay let's look at uh, first let's a joint catchment okay so if we add joint catchment and if we deselect the fill file and only drainage line only if you see this is 
alveolus drainage according to my research in this area this is herbal basin and also this is a part of herbal so we have two basins in herbal and this is the drainage line process so we will continue in our process in the next video please wait thanks for watching